Now we come to the origin of life. This is key. A Scientific American article by John Horgan on creating life in a test tube states that this goal seems more distant than ever. The author quotes Harold P. Klein of Santa Clara University, chairman of the National Academy of Sciences Committee, that recently reviewed origin of life research and quoted, the simplest bacterium, and we have a microbiologist present today, his name is Steve, is so complicated from the point of, point of view of a chemist that it's almost impossible to imagine how it happened. In fact, they can't imagine or explain how it could happen naturally. In the same article, the author points out that the most sophisticated attempt at explaining how life could originate by natural means, natural chemistry produce a living cell, anything living, it has a hitch. The DNA in the middle of the cell cannot do its work including forming more DNA, can't do its work without the help of catalytic proteins or enzymes. In short, proteins can't form without DNA, but neither can DNA form without proteins. You have to have them all functioning at the same time. Wow. 